The most important mission of the Imperial County Historical Society is the safeguarding and conservation of the Imperial Valley's heritage. Yes, and my co-anchor Jacqueline Aguilar takes us to the Pioneers Park Museum for this Treasures of the Desert Southwest special report. The Pioneer Park Museum showcases the pioneering spirit of the Imperial Valley that showcases many agricultural aspects and priceless gems to the area. In 1928, the Imperial County Historical Society was formed, and throughout the years, its collection of history grew and grew. For some time, all artifacts and galleries were located on the fairgrounds or were scattered around homes of members of the Historical Society and other buildings. The museum's archivist, Tyler Brinkerhoff, says in the 90s, after many years, the Historical Society's vision of creating a foundation for the Pioneers Museum came to fruition. Through their vision, they reached out to each of the various groups of people throughout the valley, the ethnic groups as well as the cattlemen and the agricultural groups, and they each donated thousands of dollars to build these buildings here and to uh, make the nonprofit of the uh, historical society. The museum holds an overgrowing large collection of photographs, documents, and priceless items of the valley's rich history. In their ethnic gallery alone, there are around 15 cultures represented of the settlers that traveled to the valley. Brinkerhoff shares what exactly brought many of them to the area. One of the stories that I love in the Portuguese gallery is they uh, had heard that California was the streets were paved with gold, and when they came here, they found that the gold was dirt. <laughs> and, uh, but that was good because they were able to then claim the land for uh, using it for agriculture. Early desert life and generations of different immigrants are displayed throughout the many galleries and exhibits. There are rooms for showcasing the history of the Imperial Irrigation District, education, agriculture, along with online archives. Deborah Thornburg, who is the museum's historian, describes the exhibit that is the crowd favorite. The gallery that does receive the most attention um, is the first phase one, our ethnic galleries. Uh, which represent all of those groups of people who settled the Imperial Valley in the first decade because it is astonishing. They came from all over the world. And if you go through that gallery, you have Japanese, you have East Indian, you have Chinese, Filipino, Greek. It's amazing where they came from to settle in the valley. Thornburg is a proud Imperial Valley local and historian at the museum. She says so many people plan their visits in advance and are proud to have their heritage on display, even going as far as donating or lending some of their own priceless treasures to the museum to be represented. We have a handmade telescope by uh, Nagata who discovered a comet. He was a, he was a, a sanjero and he was out at night looking at the stars and he said that star wasn't there and he discovered a comet. You know, and we have that. It's his, his, handmade, his handmade telescope. So those treasures are priceless, priceless. And then we also have, you know, grandmother's quilt. That's priceless too. They're working on a complete digital archive of their collections for all current and future visitors to enjoy. This would give more recognition to the museum, not only in the state of California, but across the country. Thornburg says it is probably the most important thing they're doing right now. Another long-term goal is expanding the museum as they're running low on room for all incoming donations. Uh, we'd like to have a little walking tour so that in the nicer months of the year, you can walk around the grounds and have a little guide say, oh, look, here's what I'm looking at. But it's just uh, making it, making it um, more appealing and keeping up with the technology as it happens. And that's something we really need to do. And Brinkerhoff's message to all current, former, and future visitors. We encourage anyone who has been here before, who, who has not been here before, that they can be able to uh, come and uh, see what we have to offer and then share that with their friends and family and neighbors. And uh, for those who have been here before, whether it was yesterday or 30 years ago, that there is always something new to see here at the museum. You can come celebrate the Valley's different ethnic cultures and food by coming to their upcoming holiday tours event on the first weekend in December. Reporting in Imperial Valley, Jacqueline Aguilar, News 11.